welcome to Luna's World. And here's the thing. I was doing a live stream last night and we ended up doing some uh, flying in a glider and it was super fun. I haven't really done much of that. And um, I was sort of thinking about a video. How can I make a video uh, interesting? Thinking about a scenario kind of thing. And then I thought, what about showing you guys my three f most favorite uh, destination in Europe to fly uh, in a glider and um, so I spent a bit of time researching and checking it out on uh, X-Plane and I came up with three locations and I was flying the uh, you know obviously the default um, glider and then I thought oh, I'll try some freeware ones and they weren't that great and I then went to the flight sim store and had a look and found the uh, Antares 20E glider and I thought I'd take a leap of faith and check it out the reviews were good and um, and here it is this is a pretty insane piece of kit so let's just have a look outside you can have a look there she is in her glory now the great thing about this is that you see this panel here this actually flips up and um, it's uh, you're able to self-launch um, it's got a little motor in it so very cool so um, I'm not in a hundred percent sure uh, exactly how to use this thing hopefully that gives you the vote of confidence you need to go flying um, That is, that's given us some power. I'm going to deploy the motor. Let's have a look outside as it comes up. There she is. And basically, that is it. Doesn't look like much, but that thing is incredibly powerful. And, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome, this thing. So, um, this is the uh, lever to operate the... Um, the throttle this is the trim lever here this is the flaps we need that set down to l uh, to l there and that's the speed brakes which i've got set up on my uh, mixture um, lever what else is there it's got oxygen this thing is capable of going up uh, pretty far so anyway enough about this i i you know i'm still getting to grips with this thing and um, let's as i Let's try and talk as well as taxi at the same time. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. First of all, I'll tell you where we are. We're in the the French Pyrenees. And we're at an airfield called, uh, excuse the pronunciation here, Bagnares de Lanchon. And, um, sorry, I'm just spinning out a bit here. I'm quite used to the keeping this thing straight. Um, yeah, and the ICAO is LFCB, if you want to check it out yourself. It's a pretty stunning location. This was actually my third destination to check out. I will I will do that video, by the way. I still think that's that would be quite interesting to do. I'm not going to tell you what the other destinations are. And I'll probably change this one now that I've told you, because <laughs> you'll get a good view of it um, You know, in this flight. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off on this grass... Oops, let's get back on the on the runway proper. If I can get to grips with this damn thing. That was so tricky. It's going to tell me I'm stalling. Uh, anyway. Alright, so our flaps are set. And I think we're pretty much good to go. So we'll just turn this thing around. This is not going to be a pretty landing, uh, pretty takeoff. It's probably not going to be a pretty landing as well if we manage to land. I'm still not used to this thing. But I intend to practice with it because it's so much fun. Here we go. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'll try and keep the wings level. Oh man. Alright, up we go. Excellent landing. Brilliant. 
All right, so we're going to fly up through this valley into that cloud, and we're going to have a bit of a... Hang on, just put the gear up. Airbrick's not locked. Airbrick's not locked. Mm. Let's back up. Two notches. Are we running out of power? Is this thing not charged? It says it is. Okay. So we're going to climb up through this, and then we're going to basically do some extreme gliding. We're going to, going to power down the uh, engine and do some extreme gliding coming down and come and land on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to time lapse. We're going to see some pretty cool scenery as we go up, but I'm going to time lapse it just so you guys don't have to... Uh, is that a rainbow there? Is that actually a, a kind of half a rainbow? That looks like it. That's pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to time lapse it. I'm going to shut up and, uh, and then I'll chat to you when we're at the top. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, welcome back, and uh, look at this view. Absolutely stunning. I kind of wanted to get above here, but I'm not sure. Well, we might make it. And then, um, basically, the airfield is down through this cloud, so we're going to probably get lost and end up, uh, well, let's be positive, eh? But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that um, ascent up through the mountains. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I uh, just need to be a little bit careful here, getting pretty close. But this is the peak that I wanted to uh, get to. And what we're going to do is launch basically off here and uh, do some crazy stuff. We're at 8,000 feet, so we should have uh, oxygen on. Let's just put that on so we don't uh, spin out. All right, so... What we're going to do now is I'm going to power back here and we're going to basically get the engine back in, rehoused, and it might start charging itself, which is going to get very noisy. If it does do that, I'm going to open it up and put it back in again. Let's see. Anyhow. Right, this is the, pretty sure this is the cliff face that I wanted to um, dive off of. So we'll, we'll continue just over here. Very dodgy this is because we can't see a damn thing with all this cloud, but never mind. All right, so we're completely gliding now. We're not under the assistance of any motorized power, so we're just relying on thermals and a lot of ridges around here, so alright, so we're going to descend down there basically here we go, hold on to your hats Uh. 
All right, that's weird. It's telling me that we've got a flap over speed and a gear over speed. My gear is up according to my SciTech panel, but not according to this. So, we're, anyway. Oh, dear. I'm trying to repair it on uh, on the app. Let me see if I can just do that. Sorry, bear, bear with me a second. Repair it all. Okay, right, that's done that. Cool. Well, that was pretty awesome, I have to say. Let's just get our flaps to neutral. And here we go again. Another crazy descent. It's kind of like wingsuit flying, isn't it? Very cool. Pretty awesome. So we're going to fly over this cloud. I don't really want to fly through it just because we don't know what it is. Now, is the airfield down there? I'm actually a bit lost. Why is my gear going up now? Very weird. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Hard drive decided that it was full. Uh, now we're good to go. So, wow, look at this. This is just absolutely stunning. And pretty good frames. Have we made the right decision, though? Are we going the right way? That is the question. What I'm going to do, actually, just have a cheeky look at this. And that tells us we're not. So the option is we have to fly. Hmm. Can we get over this ridge? That is the question. How tall is it? Uh, that's a tall order. Well, we have an option of deploying Old Faithful. Let's do that. Let's see if that gets over this ridge. Because once we're over that, we're pretty good to go. So again, I'll probably time lapse this just to get over to the ridge, and then when we're up there, we'll I'll bring you back and we'll uh, make this fun descent down into the uh, into the valley. So I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, welcome back. So um, I think we're out of battery. It says here, if you can see the warning, caution low battery. So I've um, I've put it back in, and we've just got to hope that we can glide our way out of this. We've got one. We've got two ridges to get over before we get into our valley. So uh, fingers crossed, and we've got bad weather. So um, yeah. Let's see. Hopefully, we'll make it. There is a, another option of descending down. There's a valley that leads around here and following it round. However, it'd be a lot quicker to see if we can get across here. I'm hoping that is uh, as high as it is. Look at the different colored clouds there. That looks amazing. That's really cool. So, yeah. Let's hope this works out, because <laughs> we're, like I said, we've, we're completely, out. well, not completely out, but we're pretty much out of uh, battery now. I'm hoping there's no mountains right in front of us. So, again, what I'll do is I'll just time lapse this so you don't have to sit through me flying through cloud, so I'll bring you back uh, very soon. And we're back. Okay, so that's cool. So this second ridge wasn't as high as I thought. 
which is pretty cool. So we've got a nice rate of descent over this ridge. And basically, the um, the airfield or the grass strip is uh, actually over this one. So it's just over this ridge here. So that's what we've got to do. We've got to get over that. So that's cool. And we'll we'll do a bit of uh, extreme flying once we get through this cloud. We'll we can afford to lose a bit of altitude. He says, not too much. Let's just be slightly cautious until we get over that final ridge. At least you're enjoying the uh, cloud effects of SkyMax Pro. A lot of people are bashing me about my views on SkyMax Pro, but I, don't, I really don't. I'm not changing my views because I just think this is awesome. I just love the look of it it feels and looks realistic and it's heaps better than the default and i just think for the price compared to um x enviro and you know that x enviro does more stuff than sky max pro for sure but i'm i'm pretty happy with the money that i've spent on it and i just think it looks amazing all right deploying some serious spoilers and as we go pretty much vertically down here. Look at this. This is just awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this little excursion as much as I am. Look at that. Stunning. Remind me to put the gear down, will you, when we uh, oh, got a bit of precipitation here. Did you see how that precipitation was there momentarily and then gone? That's one of the things that SkyMax does, and that's what I mean about cloud physics and the rendering of that. So not all clouds have uh, rain in them, <laughs> putting it in simplistic terms. And um, so that's depicted here, which I think is awesome. All right, so the airfield should be over to our left. I keep calling it an airfield. It's a grass strip, but it should be somewhere down there. So we'll start this turn. Now well, we're going to be high and fast. I got my spoilers out. And it's going to be a laugh landing this thing. some pretty serious g-force there all right now let's get our bearings there it is right ahead so that we, yeah, this might work out actually so what we want to do is slow down i want to put some flaps out so we'll go we'll go to one that's going to slow us down and woo. Right, we'll put our gear down. I don't think that's going to create much drag. And we'll go to full flap now. So that should be our setup to land, pretty much. So uh, other than the fact that we're a bit high, I've got my f spoilers are full out. So we're doing all we can. Yeah, this isn't. This is gonna not end too well, I think. Right, excuse this nose dive, but we really need to lose this altitude. I tell you what, we can do a side slip, can't we? Let's try that. Oh yes. Oh man, I totally forgot about that technique, having used it for the. Uh, that just saved us. That just saved us from faint worse than death. All right, side slip again. Wowzers! Oi! All right, maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, 
come on. We need to make it over this, over these trees, please. Thank you. All right, let's whip this thing into shape. Oh, geez, we're a bit short of the wrong way. And we've got deer on the runway. Awesome. Acceptable landing. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, brakes not working. All right, we're going this way. Okay. All right, well, our oxygen can come off. We survived it, that's for sure. Um, let's open the canopy doors and um, pretty much kiss the ground. <laughs> because, all right, I think it's charging itself up. Um, let's just hop outside. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. This thing is so much fun to fly. It really is. I can't tell you. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And... Um, Check out this location. It is uh, Lima Foxtrot Charlie Bravo, and it's in the French uh, Pyrenees. And um, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool stuff to see, and little towns located in these ridges down in the valleys and stuff. And uh, I can't think of a better way to see it than in a glider. So uh, check it out for yourself. And uh, once again, really appreciate you being here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe and uh, share and like and all that good stuff. And especially like, um, and especially share, and especially subscribe. So, <laughs> okay guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks again, and take care.